Hello, this is Derek Thomas of the Thomas Law Firm. We specialize in personal injury and workers' comp law. Today I'd like to talk with you about the Hobby Lobby decision. In a 5-4 closely decided case, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that closely held corporations like Hobby Lobby did not have to pay for an employee's birth control if it was against their religious beliefs. Now, you may ask, what is a closely held corporation? They are corporations in which 50% of the stock is owned by five or fewer people. Now, currently, they make up about 90% of all U.S. businesses and account for 50% of the workforce. Although this is not the first time that a company's religious beliefs and practices has made its way into its everyday operation, it is the first major case decided by the Supreme Court in regard to one's religious beliefs as it applies to their business. Now, some examples of other companies that have applied their religious or moral practices to their businesses include Omni Hotel. The owner of Omni Hotel several years ago decided that he no longer wanted pornography to be available to its guests in its pay-per-view channels, so they took it out. Also, Chick-fil-A decides not to open its stores on Sunday. And locally, Ucrop Supermarket elected not to serve beer or alcohol in its stores. Now, this is a bold new step for companies like Hobby Lobby, and only time will tell if it is a good business practice for its current and future employees and its customers. Again, this is Derek Thomas of the Thomas Law Firm, and we invite your insight and views. Thank you.